Gordon takes a shortcut. Gordon is a very proud engine. He likes to do important jobs. Gordon thinks he knows the Sodor Railway better than anyone. Gordon was at Knapford Station waiting for Stanley. Stanley was late. Gordon had to take Stanley's passengers on to Brendam Docks. At last, Stanley puffed in. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I took a shortcut, but I got lost. I never get lost. I know the railway better than any other engine. Some very important passengers and a group of workmen are waiting at Great Waterton. The first engine to arrive will pick up the very important passengers. The second will collect the workmen. Gordon didn't want to pick up the workmen. He wanted to pick up the very important passengers. I've got to get coal and water. See you at Great Waterton, Gordon. And Stanley chuffed cheerily away. Gordon was determined to arrive at Great Waterton first, so he raced off to Brendam Docks. Gordon delivered Stanley's passengers and puffed away to Great Waterton as quickly as his boiler could bubble. Gordon puffed up to a junction. He could see Stanley ahead. Gordon was worried. Then he had an idea. If I take a shortcut, he huffed to himself, I will arrive at Great Waterton before Stanley and I won't get lost. So Gordon took the other track. Gordon steamed happily along his shortcut. He stopped at the signal. Duck was having a washdown. Duck was surprised to see Gordon so far from the express track. Uh, are you lost? Would you like some help? No, thank you. I'm not lost. And Gordon chuffed away. Gordon steamed further along his shortcut. I should be at Great Waterton by now, he thought. Gordon puffed around a bend. Ahead, there was a bridge. Hooray! That must be the Great Waterton Bridge. But under the bridge, it wasn't Great Waterton. It was a repair yard. Gordon saw Oliver and Toad. They were having their wheels oiled. They were surprised to see Gordon so far from the express track. Are you lost? Would you like some help? No, thank you, I'm not lost. And Gordon chuffed quickly away. Gordon steamed along. Now he was more worried. His shortcut was taking longer and longer. Then he saw another bridge. Hooray! Here's the Great Waterton Bridge. But under the bridge, it wasn't Great Waterton. It was the shunting yard of a logging station. Gordon had never been here before. Then in the distance, he heard Stanley's whistle from the track below. Stanley is catching up, he huffed to himself. I must race ahead. Gordon pumped his pistons. Then there was trouble. Ben was shunting a flatbed of logs. Gordon biffed straight into them. The logs started to roll down the hill. Bust my buffers, those logs will block the lower track. I must stop Stanley. But Gordon didn't know which track to take. Gordon was lost. What have you done? Gordon knew his shortcut hadn't worked. Now he needed to ask for help. Can you help me, Ben? I have to get to the lower track as fast as possible. Of course. Ben was happy to help. Soon the track was clear and Gordon steamed away. He had to warn Stanley. Then Gordon arrived at a fork in the track. He didn't know which way to go next. Gordon saw Oliver and Toad puffing toward him. 
Please stop. I'm lost. I need to get to the lower track as quickly as possible. Oliver was happy to help. Take the left track. And Gordon raced on. Gordon arrived at another fork in the track. He didn't know which way to go. Then he saw Duck chuffing over a bridge. Please stop! I'm lost and I'm in a hurry! Duck was happy to help. You must take the track on the right. Thank you. And Gordon steamed off. At last, Gordon puffed on to the lower track. He could see the logs had fallen across Stanley's line. Then he saw Stanley chuffing round the bend. Gordon blew his whistle long and loud. Stop, Stanley! Stop! Stanley applied his brakes and screeched to a halt just in front of the logs. Soon Rocky arrived. He cleared the logs in no time. I'm sorry, Stanley. This was all my fault. I wanted to take a shortcut. I wanted to pick up the very important passengers. But now I want you to collect them. Stanley was delighted. Later, the very important passengers were all on board Stanley's carriages. Stanley felt very proud. Gordon puffed in to collect the workmen. I won't be taking any shortcuts this time. Stanley laughed, and Gordon smiled at his new friend. <laughs> <laughs>